number of different roles like wide receiver, and especially wide receiver early in his career. And pretty good darty through position, but this can slow down the momentum for the whole team. Daniel on first and long. And make it second and long, actually. Back at the 31, and it looked like it was almost tipped at the line. The pressure came from Kevin Young. Uh, the quarterback always gets way too much credit, and they always get too much of the blame as well. If this series goes poorly now, you're behind the chains as you see Tannehill take some pressure in the pocket. It's not the other 10 guys around him aren't playing effectively because he's in the game. On the slant, it's complete. Well thrown ball to Jeff Fuller. A freshman over there. Well, on second and 15, now some time. And under, he didn't have to rush it like that. Fuller through Tannehill. Christian Michael stays with the backfield. Got to get rid of it in a hurry this time. And overthrows the lead footer by five. Michael picked up the blitz. And now Fuller takes his shot. You can see it coming. And so does Tannehill. Personal foul, I believe, coming up, roughing the quarterback. Let's see. Personal foul. He's roughing the pass on the defense number 91. Contact to the quarterback's helmet. 15-yard penalty. First down. A&M bailed out by a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit by Jake Laptat, Laptat, excuse me, the senior from Tulsa. And that Get there in time, at least try to bat the ball down. So on first down, Tannehill with Swope as he hangs on. He well, he's been in the game. It'll be second and six out of the gun for Tannehill. Time, man, could grab again. It's a first down inside the 40. <laughs> So first down of the 39 on the play fake. Tannehill with a gun over the middle for Swope that time. He started that, you know, who, who plays? Is it the guy with the hot hand? It just opens up really, you know, Pandora's box. Fuller wide open. Touchdown, Texas A&M. 27-yarder there and uncovered. Well, the play fake is what draws Lubbock Smith, the safety, down, and then he's just beat over the top. Jeff Fuller is way too athletic. The play fake is going to draw the safety down into the run box, and when you've got your stride going and you're as long of a strider as Jeff Fuller, that's an easy completion and an easy touchdown for Texas A&M. Lubbock Smith is not risking inside the seven. Tannehill called his own bad decision. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on that on a third and five situation for Texas A&M. They pick up the blitz underneath bubble screen. Swope's got it. He's in. Touchdown, Texas A&M. There he comes. And they find the hole. And then they get some key blocks on the outside. The lineman. Now. And that rhythm for Ryan Tannehill. Finding that rhythm, throwing the ball, or the lack thereof, produces a turnover for your offense. Swope getting the catch but losing yardage as with the rest of this game. Tannehill 7 of 10 for 86 yards so far. And keeping it himself for the wide receiver. And he lays it in the well, Now Tannehill. And Tannehill's 220. Wow. Third and seven. Inside of seven to play. Pocket holds up for Tannehill. Man. The gun is a good one, but it won't be enough for the first down. The outside zones with Kansas having to put a safety in the box to stop the run. Now Tannehill wide open his footer again. He left the safety. He can walk in. Touchdown, Texas. And safety to make. Another run fake in the, in, in the safety Lubbock Smith's face. He comes up. He bites. And Fuller runs right by him. That's not the Who's corner's the responsibility. If it's the, They stop the slide here in Lawrence, Kansas tonight and get the first Big 12 win. Pressure off the edge, long throw, got to watch it through, and now breaking tackles, first down. After an interception, goes down with a left shoulder injury and has not returned. Now Tannehill will run out of bounds. I mean, that, that's been clear. He came in in meaningful situation at the beginning of the second quarter. Tannehill, man, is incomplete. right off the hands of Swope. Did throw for big yardage, high percentage, so we'll see how he continues to play on going. It'll be Tannehill breaking tackles, and the former wide receiver is in on the ground. It's Tannehill. They obviously get along with both guys. Well, th think about the Ryan Tannehill story. He hasn't right. just sat there and been a backup no. quarterback. Wide He's receiver. been contributing on this team. He's been sharing and tough things for teams to be competitive. But just to see that celebration last night, that was pretty. That was pretty special. 
Because you got Cliff Lee set up for game one, potentially game four, and potentially on short.